Seeing Charlie Cox back in his lawyer persona in No Way Home gave all his fans some well-needed respite from wondering if they'll ever see him again. And now that he's reappearing in She-Hulk and MCU has announced his official return with Daredevil Born Again, we're wondering if it means we'll get to see the Punisher back as well. Wondering the same thing? Keep watching to find out all we know about this news. But first, let's talk about why this rumor even started. Well, well, it's the Marvel Universe, guys, where fans are notoriously known to create the most bizarre theories about their favorite characters. And this theory doesn't even come close to being bizarre. Frank Castle did debut in the MCU with Daredevil, after all, so it would make sense if he came back with our masked hero. So is that the only theory behind the rumor? Nope. The news about the Punisher coming back isn't just the rumor mill running its course. This time, we've got an actual insider who's mentioned his return. That's right, someone broke the MCU code of silence again. And this time, that someone is Rosario Dawson, whose character Claire Temple has starred in all of the MCU shows on Netflix except The Punisher. In fact, it was this very fact that she shared at the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo as she talked about The Punisher's return. In a video shared by Matt Ramos on Twitter, we see her speaking about how she heard yesterday that the Punisher is coming back. Yeah, if that's not proof of his return, we don't know what is. She also mentioned how excited she is to work with John Bernthal and that she really wants to make it happen. And okay, she did walk back on her comment and tweeted how she can't be trusted and that this was a fan rumor she believed in. But guys, can we really believe it was a fan theory she was quoting? Not likely. She's far too experienced to quote a fan for such big news. It's possible that the execs at Marvel made her retract her comments, which isn't the first time they've done it. And here's also his history with Kingpin, whose return in Daredevil was also announced by Kevin Feige. Not that we didn't expect that, considering his appearance in Hawkeye and in the upcoming series, Echo, along with Daredevil. Oh, and get this. While the Kingpin's appearance in the show will show him running for mayor of NYC, Daredevil Devil will be returning to look for, wait for it, Jessica Jones. Super exciting news, right? But we'll get to it later. For now, let's focus on Frank Castle, whose long-standing history with Kingpin in the Marvel comics hasn't exactly been a secret to fans. Add their fight in the prison to the list, and you've also got an MCU incident pitting them against each other. So that's two characters from Daredevil's world who have got a connection with Frank Castle, Wilson Fisk, and Daredevil himself. Coincidence? It could be, but this is the Marvel Universe we're talking about, where characters are known to infiltrate each other's shows and movies quite often, even if they don't have any connection to each other, which isn't the case with these three either. Guys, isn't that enough evidence for the Punisher's return to the MCU? Let's also not forget the snap. Yes, that snap. We don't know what happened to the Defenders after it. They may have survived or may have been wiped out. It's very possible that either Murdoch or Castle were blipped out of the universe, only to come back to a world where Wilson Fisk is back in power. Even the title of the show indicates that Daredevil's been born again. This could be symbolic, considering the show's return to us in a different universe, but it could also mean he's born again after being blipped from existence, and this time we'll see his version of the events when he comes back. This also gives him enough motive to partner up with Frank Castle to defeat Kingpin. And it just makes sense from MCU's fan service perspective, because if, after all this time, they're reintroducing a beloved Marvel character in their universe, they'll probably add a little surprise for us to find in the show as well. So yeah, guys, all that evidence sums up our conclusion about the news that the Punisher will definitely be reintroduced to the MCU. Oh, and he's not the only character fans are expecting to return to the universe there are also rumors about Kilgrave. Now, that's news we'll turn up the volume for, because Kilgrave, the purple man, back to the MCU with Daredevil? That just sounds like a joke, right? Only, it isn't. Because, believe it or not, Kilgrave's relation to Daredevil may just be stronger than with Jessica, considering how he made his first comic debut in Daredevil number 4, almost 60 years ago. Considering that, and the fact that Matt Murdock will make 
second appearance in Echo, looking for Jones, has given fuel to fan theories, speculating how Kilgrave may just be another entry in the MCU with Daredevil. Whether he'll make an appearance in Echo or the Devil's Own Show is obviously unclear. So is the fact that whether he'll even come back or not. But admit it, it's super fun to speculate anyway. Oh, and there's also Jessica herself, who may or may not appear in the MCU. We still don't know if Matt Murdock looking for her in Echo will actually result in him finding her or not. Marvel definitely hasn't mentioned her return. And Rosario also didn't mention her during her faux pas. So it's safe to say that the reintroduction of these two characters may just be speculation at this point and nothing else. As for the Punisher though, we're fully expecting him to show up guns blazing. And this may be a little pushy, but maybe he'll give us a lesson or two about gun safety in one of his tirades. Or maybe, and this is us just having our fun, we'll see Frank Castle in a small cottage, far off in the woods, with a family, having retired from violence altogether, living a happy life where he frequently breaks a tree or two just to channel his anger. Too much? Yeah, we thought so too. But at least we're on the same page about his return, right? And now that we've established that, how about we explore some other news about the MCU and Daredevil himself? First up, we have some rumors about a lighthearted Daredevil. Wait, is that even possible? Well, it's not impossible per se, but having seen the masked hero fight all the gore and violence only to return as a toned down version of himself, would that even work? We do agree that Netflix's way of telling their stories was definitely different. That's what made the shows so epic in the first place. But with Disney being, well, Disney, and after all the drama that went down with parents hating on Deadpool, fans have shown concern that Daredevil and any other possible Defender shows may not have the same grit as they did before. Even Jessica Gao, writer of She-Hulk, has suggested that. This quickly sent fans to a Twitter frenzy, where they've since then been debating whether Daredevil without the devilish spin would even work or not. Some have said that Charlie Cox is such a great actor, he can pull it off easily. Others have said that of course, the show won't be without its humor. Matt Murdock can't stay away from his dry jokes, now can he? We just hope it isn't an outright comedy though, because that would definitely s We've also got some news about his suit in the show. That, according to Jessica Gao, was something Marvel was super particular about. According to her, when they learned that the man without fear was going to do a cameo in She-Hulk, they were super excited and kept suggesting what they'd like him to do. To her surprise, the higher-ups didn't say no once, except when it came to the suit, which they knew exactly how they wanted. We've already seen the teaser where he's wearing the yellow costume, but why is it important? important, and why are Marvel execs so secretly particular about it? Well, for one, it's the very first costume the masked devil donned in the comics, way back in 1964. And because Marvel's super into showing some comic-related costumes in Phase 4, this could be their way to officially welcome the original Daredevil into the MCU, as opposed to the Netflix one we're used to seeing. We'll also be seeing him all animated in his black and gray outfit in Spider-Man freshman year. But is it a trend that'll follow him in his show as well? Maybe, but we hope he goes back to the red, along with that super chilling intro theme. Somehow, we just can't picture it all in yellow. Can you? And finally, we have news about Bullseye, or Benjamin Dex Poindexter, who appeared as the faux daredevil on Netflix in the show's third season. Last we saw him, his fate was left unresolved, much like the entire Entire show to be fair, and we haven't heard anything about him except in rumors and theories. But now that a Thunderbolts film is in development, it's likely that he'll star as part of Marvel's version of the Suicide Squad. Sure, that doesn't follow the exact comic storyline, but when has the MCU stayed super true to the comics? That's a wrap for this video. What's your take on the Punisher's return in Daredevil Born Again? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.